South Africa is in four. Paulo Andre de Oliveira of Brazil is in five. Noah Lyles. In hopes of the United States hanging with Noah Lyles. Well, here is Rain Chambers, who only got through as a fast loser. Two Jamaicans came to this championship. Just one has survived to the final. Rachmil Miller. Well, only just squeezed into this final. But can he take the opportunity here and perhaps run into a medal? Clotliso Leoclela of South Africa. The fastest man in Bidgosh so far this week. Paulo Andre de Oliveira of Brazil from the Olympic host nation. Noah Lyles, the fastest man in this field, 10.16. He ran in Eugene at the start of this month. Filippo Tortu already having qualified for a European senior semi-final. He did that in Amsterdam. Mario Burke of Barbados. Relax just a little bit too much in the semi-final. No chance he'll do the same here. And Derek Silva of Brazil on the outside. So two Brazilians, a Jamaican, a Briton, a South African, an American, an Italian, and a Bajan. It is the final of the men's 100 meters. World title at stake. The semi final winners, Leotlela in four, Lyles in six, and Tortu of Italy in lane seven. Well, they go away first time. De Oliveira rather staggered out of the blocks there and over on the far side. Chambers has got off the fly and the Britons come to halt. And look, coming through there is Lyles. And Lyles in the end takes it with some ease. 10.18. The Americans so disappointed not to get two men into this final. But Noah Lyles in the end was head and shoulders above the rest. And it was a dramatic final. De Oliveira slipped out of the blocks wreck bill miller well ended up in a crumpled heap midway down the straight tortu i'd have to say of italy never really got into the race he came through strongly towards the end the italian and burke the bayesian well he broke from the block so well but in the end it was a one-man race noah lyles is the world champion and he's one of the slightest in the field. Really sad to see Reckmiel Miller drop out there with that uh, leg injury. But coming through really strongly, Lyles over the second half. Gets that goal from Tortu. But uh, clear daylight, as you said quite rightly, Martin, between the American and the rest. 10.18 there, that winning time. In fact, 10.17 to Tortu's 10.24. And it was close for the bronze, but Burke took it. Yes, Tortu didn't get away nearly quickly enough, but he was the fastest finisher, and the Italian will come away with a silver medal. So that's success for European sprinting. It looked to me rather like Mario Burke, who came through for the bronze. But there was clear daylight. Lyles in the end, the supreme sprinter, the fastest man in the field. Leo Clella, the South African, had impressed so much in the semi-finals, but simply couldn't deliver the same level of performance here. And the American, well, a class apart. Well, really frustrating for the Briton there, but uh, Lyles coming through. And for one of the slightest men in the field, too, dwarfed by the power of Burke there to second to left, who does come through. And finishing fifth and seventh. But there it is, the official wind, re wind reading plus 0.2 meters per second. Lyles of the United States, an American world champion of the 100 meters. Nothing unfamiliar about that, but make a note of the name. It's a new name, Noah Lyles.